Hey, what's up, guys? Here, so here's a question for you. Do you think that uh, card and dice uh, sports sims are dead? Or let's make it more specific. Do you think the card and dice baseball games are dead? I, mean, I could see somebody easily saying, yeah, you know, playing a card and dice football game these days, though there are good ones out there, is going to be really cumbersome because you've got to figure out, like, what do I do about play calling? You know, if you don't have a computer opponent to play against, you're not going to have so many, like, other people to want to play against. I haven't played games like, you know, um, uh, Fourth Street uh, football, um, but um, I know about them, and I know that it gives you a lot of options for play calling and a lot of different complexity. But, man, I mean, that can be a little bit bewildering and uh, overwhelming if all you want to do is just um, hang out with a friend and uh, have a good time playing a uh, at least semi-realistic football game, right? I mean, can that really compete against playing, you know, action PC football or playing a second and 10 or playing even the fourth street uh, football uh, computer game, right? Against a, a computer manager. Um, I would imagine the basketball similar. I used to have a copy of the replay basketball game. And I mean, it was uh, interesting. I never really got around to fully playing it though, you know, but um, fast action cards as great as they are. I mean, does it really compete that well with the uh, actual computer sim? Um, actually, in the ba uh, basketball world, we could talk about this again, but I consider um, the old uh, Cactus DOS game to be a little bit better than uh, Action PC Basketball. But uh, I'm not so sure about the Cactus uh, Windows game, nor am I going to put that money down to try it after what I've read about it. But, uh, you know, when it comes to baseball, I don't know. I'm really interested to know what you think, you know. I mean... We know that when we look at the uh, baseball uh, simulation industry and we look at the uh, board games, that there are certain, like, big, you know, I don't know, 900-pound gorillas that feel like they're always going to be around, right? So you're probably always going to have somebody interested in playing APA or a derivative of APA, right? So, you know, the APA game itself, which today is, technically speaking, a derivative of the original APA game, and you might not believe me, but if you look at the history of what's happened, it's pretty obvious that there were changes that were made relatively recently um, to uh, try to improve realism and at the very least to try to make it so that um, homebrewed seasons weren't automatically more realistic than the company's official seasons, uh, which was a problem for many, many years. Um, but uh, because of the spread of APA and because of how many people have been interested in it, you know, you can definitely see APA staying for a long time. I don't think that we really fully know how many people play APA. Same thing is true of Strat, right? Stratomatic, which has a little bit more of a linear history to it, um, hasn't gone through all the same crazy changes and drama that APA has. You know, Stratomatic, it's, uh, you know, pretty clear that there are a lot of people out there who play the game that we probably don't really know much about, right? In both of those cases, I can envision what in the uh, Magic the Gathering world they call, like, the kitchen table player, right? The person uh, in Magic the Gathering land who, like, never goes out to the card shop, never participates in events. The game company knows that they exist because somebody's buying the cards, but they don't have much interaction directly with them. I used to be like that when I was in middle school. We would play in the uh, lunchroom table all the time back in the uh, late 1990s. Right. Well, you have a similar thing when it comes to uh, board games, I imagine, especially for Appa and Strat. And there are probably a lot of gamers out there who have never been on the Delphi forums, who probably have never seen this channel or any other YouTube channel talking about these games. There are probably basic things about the games they don't know. There were certainly a lot of people who bought Appa games who did not subscribe to the Appa Journal. Same thing with Strat. There were a lot of people who didn't really care about the Stratomatic review or didn't have the extra money for it or whatever. These gamers are also out there, though they're probably all a little bit older nowadays. You know, so I would I can see how we would say that well maybe games like that would stay. We know about replay baseball. But what I'm wondering about is everything else, right? There are a lot of baseball games like card and dice games out there that are relatively new. We talked about one just the other day. But the question is, is there any staying power for that, right? If you are creating a new game and you're looking for a good audience, is it wise to focus on the uh, card and dice market or are you just being totally foolish, right? Should you forget about card and dice and say, no, we're not even going to look at that. We're going to put all of our focus on the computer market. We're going to try to go after people who are upset with like OTP give them an alternative that maybe is a little bit cheaper, has some sort of gimmick in the game engine or something, you know, and then uh, see how many of these uh, we can sell. It's a pretty um, interesting question to ask, I think. You know, there are positive and negative sides of having a board game uh, versus a uh, computer game. I talked about one actually a little while ago, and we were talking about, uh, I think this was only on the blog, we were talking about OOTP and the uh, problems OOTP had with the uh, Japanese seasons, right? If you have card and dice game, uh, the company can't like exactly go over and uh, change all the um, details of your cards, you know, uh, because of whatever rights issue or whatever might happen, right? But uh, when it came to OOTP, they definitely could, and they changed a lot of people's saves around. There were people uh, on... Uh, various message boards who were saying, oh, this isn't a big deal, this isn't a big deal. 
it is a big deal. It is a big deal when you handle those types of problems that way. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, that's one of those other things that you have to sort of take into consideration, right? Because, um, card and dice world is a little bit more consumer friendly in that respect and you can always play you don't have to worry about keeping your computer up to date you don't have to worry about some stupid update coming around and screwing everything up right but at the same time there's a lot of stuff you can't quite do with it and there's a lot of things that uh, maybe make the computer world a little bit more attractive so yeah i'm interested in knowing what you think i mean do you think that one's better than the other do you think that everybody in the future is just going to play computer games that's what um howard alshkog the old app journal editor was uh, once thought especially in the late 80s early 90s he thought he had to prepare the app community for the uh, inevitable day when everyone was going to do the computer game you know i mean i know i'm playing all of my stuff on this computer but Earlier today, I just played a game using cards and dice. I mean, the cards are displayed digitally, but it's a dice game, right? Arguably better than um, anything that was around in 1991 or 1992 whenever um, Howard said that, you know. I mean, you know, it's uh, like I understand the argument, right? But at the same time, I mean, you know, it's been a long time. It's been, what, like 30 years, you know, and uh, we're still playing card and dice games, and there does still seem to be a market, right? We could speculate, too, and ask, you know, what do you think about the younger generation? Do you think that kids are going to, you know, want to, you know, uh, keep their heads in front of the computer all day? Or do you think that uh, maybe they're going to want to get away from it and uh, play something that's card and dice based? I'd argue that, yeah, I mean, if you can get a bunch of friends together and you can play a game that's card and dice based that's actually fun to play multiplayer, you know, I mean, maybe you have something going for it. I, I don't know about a lot of these newer games, baseball classics and stuff like that. I do know that App is a lot of fun played multiplayer. Um, I do know the Stratomatic, too, is a lot of fun played multiplayer like in person, right? Those games have definitely a lot of staying power. And um, I can assume that Replay, which is similar, is also really a lot of fun when you're playing sort of two-player, right? Even though I do know that Replay offers a lot of things with the uh, seasons that they sell to uh, make it a little bit easier to play the games uh, solitaire and uh, play them one player. You know, I do know that these games were also intended to be multiplayer, so I don't know. Now, I'll tell you this. I mean, I played a lot. I played a bit of action PC football, and um, it's fun against the computer. It's a lot more fun against another person, but it can be cumbersome. It can be difficult to, like, make it work and to get the right connection and to deal with all of this, you know, weird, you know, uh, networking-style software that uh, was made for Windows, like, 20 years ago and, like, barely works and all that stuff. Sometimes it might be a little bit more fun to pull out Stratomatic football, you know, especially if you got the ones with the uh, the one with the oversized player cards. I think that's the one that's got the better uh, multiplayer mode, you know, and uh, just do that real basic, you know, guess type game against your opponent, you know, and uh, see if you can guess right. I mean, there really is some staying power for games like that that might be a little bit more simple, but, um, you know, you don't have to do so much uh, messing around to try to get the work right. So anyway, just a little bit of thinking out loud. Love to know what your opinion is on the subject, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.